Joining me right now is undefeated heavyweight knockout machine, Jairzinho Rusenstrut. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I see that you're uh, training hard right now. Yeah, I'm very busy getting ready for Japan. Uh, yeah, I just come to shop Japan. That's what I'm going to do. Why did you decide to sign with Ryzen? So, um, Ryzen is one of the biggest uh, uh, federation in the world. And I think I have a bigger chance to be growing in the MMA, uh, to be a bigger star in the MMA world. So, I chose them because I, I see opportunity to become bigger with Ryzen. You said that there's an opportunity for you to become bigger in MMA. You've been kickboxing for a long time now. Do you see that MMA is a bigger sport compared to kickboxing? Um, I think it's, it's uh, how should I say it? It's like, um, for me, it's the next step. It's the a, it's a next step, and if I can do it, if I, I want to improve myself, so... I chose that, and it's uh, many different sports together. So that's why I chose to be an MMA fighter. What do you look forward to most about going to Japan? <sighs> I want to knock this guy out very bad. Because his mouth is too big, he starts saying things, and uh, I cannot wait to get in Japan and get over him. Yeah, that's the most. And after that, and then we're going to see what the next step is going to be or the next one or what. But the first, mostly, I want to knock him out. I come to rock and that's what I'm going to do. You, uh, you started in Holland, right? But you have been training a lot in your country of Suriname. Can you talk about the MMA scene in your country? Uh, okay, the question is, I, it's different. It's uh, the opposite. I started in Suriname with kickboxing oh. and moved to Holland to do training and come back and fight here and fight all over the world in kickboxing. And my MMA career felt like I was training with this guy in Aruba and we just did something and he, the guy tell me, hey, you have a better chance, uh, you have a chance to do the MMA also. So, and that's how we start training, training, and I got a fight in Russia. I won, and I got the second fight in Russia. I won again, and so we keep going. And I start training very hard in the MMA, doing my business too, my wrestling, and my boxing. So, that's, uh, that's how it rolled a little bit. But I'm busy for a long time now. I started with kickboxing, like, 2008. I was 18 when I started my first fight, and yeah. You have trained at one of the biggest, most famous gyms in Holland, Hammer's Gym. When yeah. you were training there, and you still train there, how does it feel to be training at one of the best, you know, kickboxing gyms in the world? It's feeling good, and the experience, the coaches. They uh, have uh, a lot of experience and they can bring you where you want to be and where you're supposed to be. And they give you all the respect and all the things you need to win a fight. So I'm very happy to train with them. Yeah. You, you also have been going to Aruba, like you said, to Millard MMA Academy. And I saw that you was recently in a grappling tournament down there. How was that experience? So that was like, that's, for me, that was like, uh, let's do something, let's do it. Uh, the only thing you can do is, the only thing I can get is a win. I never lose. So you better do it so you get better experience on the ground. And yeah, just like that. Just, I just um, update my skills at the time. How much of your training is grappling? My... Uh, 60%. Do, who do you usually train with in your grappling? I have uh, one black belt from Brazil, or two black belts from Brazil. Um, one in Suriname and one in Aruba. 
and the two other guys from Aruba, I think with them all is Miliard and the uh, other guy, Cruz. So they are like heavyweight fighters, like heavyweight fighters, but we move a lot. I move a lot with them, like my training and stuff. Between 2013 and 2016, you didn't have any yeah. MMA fights. What were you focusing on at that time? What was happening? I was doing my kickboxing career. I got a, I had, I had a lot of world titles to defend, and I get them. So I was focusing on that, and I win them all. That was my focus. Now your focus is becoming a big MMA star in Japan. The biggest MMA star, the biggest MMA star, at the rising. And it begins on May 6th in Fukuoka against undefeated Andre Kovalov. He is uh, a dangerous opponent, of course. He's undefeated. He has lots of knockouts, just like you. So a knockout, but he's a grappler at the same yeah. time. Um, do you think he will stand and trade with you? He will strike with you? I prepare on everything. So you want to go there? You want to go up, you want to go down, we're going to be there. So it's going to be, I'm going to enjoy this fight and I'm going to do what I want to do. So I'm ready for Japan. I hope Japan is ready for me. What do you think of your opponent's skills? Do you think he is overrated or do you think he is a very good high-level fighter? I think he's a good fighter. He has his skills. He's doing his thing. He's doing it very well. So, and that's better for me to go against him, to win him, and to show myself. You're a kickboxer. Your roots are in kickboxing. What part of kickboxing works the best for MMA? Uh, mostly boxing and low kick. Uh, where do you think with the low kicks, right? Nowadays, the low kick to the calf is very popular in MMA. Yeah. Do you believe that that is uh, something that is in your arsenal? That something you can focus on? Yeah, I can focus on that. But uh, the timing what you have. You can put a low kick on a bad time, but you can put a low kick on the right time. So that's, uh, that's the thing. So can you do it the right time? Do you have the timing? Do you have the patience? Do you have the skills? So it depends on a lot of things. Understand me? So, so what, is, what do you think is going to happen in this fight? Of course, you cannot predict it, but you must have a plan in your mind of what you want to do. I'm a fighter. I'm going to fight. I don't come to play. So I'm going to stand there and fight till the end. Or I'm going to knock this guy out. So I come to fight, and I have no other plan. If you don't fight, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get knocked out. If you don't, if you fight, you're gonna fight, and that's gonna make it interesting. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, May sixth in Japan, Ryzen ten. You're gonna face uh, Andre Kovalov. It's gonna be an exciting fight. You guys are both exciting fighters. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. And anytime, I see you in Japan. For sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.